This week we've taken a look at how the pharmaceutical industry has joined efforts to fight the Zika virus, which is carried by mosquitoes. Tonight, in the final piece of our three-part report, Meg Terrell looks at how to control the bug that spreads Zika. The mosquito that carries the Zika virus is not a new threat in the United States. Unfortunately, this climate is also ideal for one of man's worst enemies, the Aedes aegypti mosquito, carrier of dengue and yellow fever. For decades, the Aedes aegypti has been a known carrier of multiple diseases. It's a battle public health experts say we can win, but we must start taking more seriously. Mosquito control has been successful in the past. We can't be cavalier. The best tools, pesticides, vigilance, and a lot of hard work. It's technically possible to do a very good job of Aedes aegypti control. The problem is the logistics and the resources to do that. It gets very complicated, especially in a large city. Companies including Bayer, best known as the maker of aspirin, are developing tools for control of mosquitoes that carry disease. We have a, a couple thousand of the deadliest animal in the world right here. Like its product Suspend Polyzone, which is sprayed to create a barrier on surfaces that kills mosquitoes. That's the way we like them. We like them nice and dead. But with the difficulty of completely eradicating the mosquito with current tools, as well as the emergence of resistance, experts say new options are needed. And they note innovation for the control of the bugs as public health threats has been slow, in part because that market is so much smaller than pesticides for crops. The Gates Foundation's Dan Strickman estimates the market is about two to three billion dollars per year. The foundation is partnering with industry to develop new methods of mosquito control through a group called the Innovative Vector Control Consortium. It includes Bayer, as well as Syngenta, DuPont, and Dow. Over the last decade, the consortium has screened more than four million chemical compounds to find three to bring into development. In some ways, the chemicals that are easiest to develop have already been developed, and now we're we're getting a, a, a smaller and smaller pool of possibilities. Entirely new ways of mosquito control are also being worked on, including genetically modifying the bugs to destroy their own kind. Biotech company Intrexon is developing that technology, awaiting the FDA's go-ahead to start testing in the Florida Keys. But as mosquito-borne threats persist, public health officials say we need to respect the dangers those bugs can pose and make sure we protect ourselves. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.